All right, guys, I'm going to be teaching you guys today on free game how to code. We're going to start off and let's get straight to it. You always start off with an HTML tag. This is a tag. You see how it's the greater and less than symbols? This is uh, what? This is greater than, this is less than. So you want to start with a less than symbol, HTML. Then you want to start have a greater than symbol. We're going to move to our next, and this is called an element. You need to know that this is called an element. An HTML element is just basically what's going inside to design the website. Now, the first thing you're going to want to start off with is an H1 tag, which is an H1 element, which you see right here says H1 element represents a section of heading. You can only have six H1 headings. So with that being said, we're going to start off with free game. Good job. You've basically just written your first block of code with your H1 N1, I mean H1 heading, and it's closed with the forward slash H1 with the greater than sign. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna push some P on these people. So P stands for the P element, which represents your paragraph. That's where you're gonna type in your text. For example, we're gonna say, Free game is a platform, is a platform to educate the community. There we go. Now we have a heading and we have a paragraph element with the sentence free game is a platform to educate the community. On top of that, we could add some labels. We could add some lists. Let's see. We could say, um, let's say we did a uh, link. Now, I don't want to go too far. I want to move slow motion for you guys. So we're going to do what's called an ordered list. So we're going to use the UL. And this UL is basically going to represent a list of things that we're going to put. So, oh, my, my bad. The order list is going to be, uh, let's see, financial literacy. Financial literacy, boom. Now we have order list. response to current events and then we can do say um, talking shit <laughs> so now not only do we have our h1 heading we have our paragraph we have an ordered list which is basically financial literacy, the responses, as well as the current events and talking shit. Let's see if we hit it with the one or the list. Okay, I just wanted to see what would happen. Or we can do a lot, which will make it a bullet point. So if you wanted to do bullets, you could just hit it with the LI instead of the OL. And I hope I'm not moving too fast. I just want to give y'all guys as much game as I can give y'all in about five or ten minutes. And this is the last thing I'm going to teach y'all. It's called basic CSS. Basic CSS is basically styling. It's basically how you're going to give it some sauce. So what you're going to do is, let's say in this H1 heading, we're going to take away the greater than symbol. We're going to add class. And what class is, is a way that you style, you're going to basically how you style this heading through CSS. And I hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. So we're going to say this is an H1 class. We're going to close that up. And the reason why this arrow is pointing, this class is pointing to free game because that is what it's going to style. So see how it says class up here? Remember, we had periods in class. So period H1. 
we're going to hit it with the curly brackets. That's what they call it in code, and they call these curly brackets. We're going to hit it with the color. Boom. We're going to make this blue. Bang. What do we do? We change free game, the free game heading to blue. Now, if you wanted to say you want to change the background, you say you want to say, okay, I want the background color to change. We're going to make the background color black in the heading tab. You can also change the, what's called the font size. You can change the font size, say you want to do 28 pixels, and that's the way that they do things. And um, in CSS, it's not going to go by fonts and inches and things like that. It's going to go by pixels. So say we want to go 40 pixels. And then we can go font family. Font family is basically what type of whether you want to go Times New Roman, they have serif, they have sans serif. You could basically change what font it is and what what your um basically what your font looks like in the code. So let's see. You get what I'm saying? So is you have those type of options. But this is what we're gonna stop at. I just wanted to give y'all some sauce, give y'all some game. It's very simple to code a website and to code an app. Literally, we all have an idea for some type of app. And I want to get this information out there to everyone because they're charging thousands and thousands of dollars for their coding camps. And I want to give some sauce away for free. So this is what we're going to do, man. We're giving back to the community, and this is free game for the day.